Welcome to Port Aransas. This is the ferry line, and I'm Will Foster, EXP agent and local resident. You can tell by my beach stickers I've been here a minute. What we're going to do is go right down Cotter all the way to the beach and do a Port Aransas 101. This is video one of the 101. And off to your left right here is Deep Sea Headquarters for some good fishing and the Red Dragon Pirate Cruise. I'm telling you, if you got young kids, you got to do the Pirate Cruise. They do swashbuckling. It's a whole show the whole time. And they do have a galley bar for the parents. And of course, Finn's, which is a yummy restaurant. All kinds of good stuff there. And a deck on the marina which is nice and of course being texas we've got to have a dq and there's port aransas dq and there is ed's church if you feel like getting your bible on while you're in port a just go to ed's church there this is marina waterfront condos all the way down here this restaurant's gone out of business because the guy retired. So that'll be something different soon. Speaking of different, here's Woody's Last Stand. And it's Woody's Last Stand because this is where Woody's used to be. It will now be condos. And this, on the other side of the street, is the Sipyard, which is going to be food and eats and treats and picnic tables and a lot of fun stuff. Across the street from there is the Trout Street restaurant, which is one of my favorites. It's a little bit nicer. And it's right at the end of Alistair. So right here is Alistair, and we're gonna do that as a separate video because that's the main street through town. There's old Liberty Hall. They blew that one. It was a historic building, and anyways, they're selling it because they blew it. Um, oh, yes, Tarpon, historic building there used to be the army barracks back in the 1800s and Roosevelt's is the number one fanciest restaurant on the island by far. Really nice. And this here across the street from the Tarpon is the Flats. The Flats is where all the old dive bars used to be but they're all clearing out because, well, it's going to be condos. They've already moved Shorties over off of Alistair. Coaches, which is uh, shutting down literally this weekend, um, is going to move over off of Alistair too. And as you keep going down Cotter, you go past this stop sign, and this gets you to the beach. This is really the first beach road because it's the far north end of the island. You come out on the jetties, and then you go south from there all the way to the end of the island to Packery Channel. Um, you can go almost all the way on the beach, except you got to come out at Fish Pass because they got another jetty at Fish Pass, which no fish pass at Fish Pass. Um, it silted up a long time ago, back in the 70s, I believe. But anyways, jetty's still there, so you can't drive across it. And coming up here is the Un University of Texas Marine Science Institute, UTMSI. Got a lot of good things going on there, most especially the ARC. The ARC, you got to get to know and know their phone number because those are the people who rescue the turtles, the birds, and other creatures, rehabilitate them, and then re-release them out into the wild. This is the backside of the Marine Science Institute, and they've got a lot of construction going on. I guess they're going to have more students down here. As you go on this road, the entrance to the Marine Science Institute is very important because that is right here to our left. And that's how you get to the Patent Center. The Patent Center has lots of uh, neat tours and interior. You can be inside in the air conditioning and go see some cool marine biology stuff. And there's the Patent Center right there. You go in the entryway and it's right there in front of you. Okay, now to the beach. We're in the dunes now. There is some history of shipwrecks here, and apparently the old timers tell us a pot of gold somewhere in these dunes. 
don't go digging around because there's snakes and coyotes around here. Oh yeah, by the way, do not let your little dogs run out into the dunes. They will be eaten. Coyotes love little dogs as snacks. So keep kids and little dogs away from the dunes. And what was it, last month? We had some kid think he was gonna build a fort in the dunes and his parents let him dig a hole. It collapsed in on him and thank God they dug him out. But anyways, that was not good. So what we'll do here is just run down the beach road a minute till we get to the pier. And once we get to the pier, we'll stop because that beach road um, is then gonna be a whole different video. So as we come from the jetties, which by the way, is a great fishing spot, if you know how to fish the jetties, because there's a lot of rocks and your tackle will get hung up on there if you don't know how to fish on the rocks. That's what the jetties are. They are made of rocks. This is the county portion of the beach, so you don't need a parking permit to come here. And this is also county, and behind there is the RV park, which is county. And this is also one of the only places that you can do food trucks because you can drive up and past the bollards in this place. Most places you can't get past the bollards, but there's a small place here right next to the pier that you can get past the bollards and drive right up to the water. Okay. If you're looking for real estate, I'm your man. For now, we are signing off.